What's good, YouTube? It's Roy J. We are here with another Wi Fi battle. And as per requested from Bean, we are rocking out with a Call Mine Trick Room Diancy. Um, so the only the only thing about this set, because I was making it and I was like, whoa, maybe it's a little bit too much setup, but at the same time, Trick Room Call Mine, you might be able to uh because the only problem is you either have to call mine outside of Trick Room and then proceed to Trick Room. Or uh, I don't think you can really call mine in Trick Room. Uh, granted, maybe you can get one up and then if it's enough, you can clean the rest. But uh, that was the only grab I had is that maybe just Trick Room with like maybe a, a life orb item or something of that nature. Or maybe a weakness policy could be cool. That's another set I was thinking too. So uh, make if you guys can, make sure to try try that set. Try what you will. But we are rocking on with Call Mine Trick Room with Earth Power Moon Blast because Ground and Fairy is literally the... It covers everything. It covers the steel types that are annoying. Um, and we have Moonblast as well. Of course, there's like things like Corviknight that are pretty annoying. So, but we have Mons that can break around those things. So I think that's fine. We just got to get rid of that to get Diancie. And I didn't want to make Diancie's job all about that um, with the two moves. So I figured that ground and fairy coverage are pretty solid here. Um, um, aside from that, uh, we have the leftovers to make sure we can get some recovery and be as fat as possible. We are like max HP with max special attack. And then some side characters that we have are Slow King with Feature Sight, Chili Reception, Sludge Bomb, and Slack Off with the Heavy Duty Booties. We are max spadef on this set. Chili Reception is nice so that we can pivot out, get a slow pivot out, and maybe position Diancie in a, a good position. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying? That, but that's pretty much the job there. And then Feature Sight is nice for just to chip down the mount or force in uh, Dark Types because then we can Chili Reception, tank that hit, and then go on Diancie as well. So that's pretty dope. And then we have Defensive Moltres here with Flamethrower, Hurricane, U-Turn, and Roost, which is another mount that gives us mon momentum with U-Turn and Chili Reception. And I haven't used Moltres yet, so I'm like, I'm, I'm happy to be able to use it in Gen 9. So that's pretty dope. And then we have our Suicide Lead. Not really, because it doesn't explode or anything, but it's our Guaranteed Lead with Ceases Edge, Razor Shell, and Knock Off, and Aqua Jet. Samurai is pretty cool here to be able to just get up spikes for Diancy for it to be able to, you know, hit as hard as it does. Diancy has pretty good special attack and um, the spikes will allow us to get more favorable rolls or um, be able to knock things out that we otherwise wouldn't. So that's pretty dope. And then we have Dragonite with D-Dance, Extreme Sweep, Earthquake, and Ice Spinner. Uh, this thing is kind of just be able to use uh, before or after Trick Room because uh, D-Knight kind of ups the speed and also we have big attack stat with E-Speed and EQ and Ice Spinner which is very nice so very hard hitters which can help clear the way for Diancy or help um, after Diancy dents down the team which is great and then last but not least we have Iron Valiant here with Moonblast, Side Shock, Shadow Ball and Thunderbolt and kind of like as a mon for our speed control um, that is pretty fast almost outspeeds everything um but and then we have moon uh moon blast is just su who super 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 hard because of the choice specs and that's all we really need to click we can click the other moves uh but uh choice specs moon blast is going to be doing work if we need to clean up or if we need to dent it down to get the antsy to do stuff well for ado let's get into the battle and here we are with the battle we are going against thrashered and his team just a rando no idea who it is uh we're gonna go ahead and lead off with samu because that is what we do is literally our lead because that is what we said in the the team preview so make sure to go check that out if you didn't so uh we're leading off with samu here focus actually get him up they have no removal which is fire we also have no removal which isn't as fire but it's fine because we don't care about hazards that much and the goal here if you don't know is to have diancy pop off in tr aka trick room so we're gonna see if we can do that because uh the good thing is um that Diancy has access to Trick Room. If you try to run Trick Room in Signals, it is insanely hard because in doubles, it's way easier, right? Because you have your the one who does it and then the mon that abuses it. But Diancy is a user and abuser. Um, but in Signals, you have, if you, you like get up Trick Room and then you switch out, then it's just like pointless. They lead off with the baby fin. The baby fin, they could CC, but it doesn't matter because we are Sash. Um, but like what I was saying before is that because you get Tur uh, one turn to trick room up that literally counts as one so you instead of five you have four and then you got to switch out that's three and then you only have uh like what two two uh wait no wait you switch out that's three yeah you only have like essentially like two turns <laughs> to do stuff so this thing comes out that's perfectly fine i have no problem just repeatedly clicking hazards this thing can't t-wave me i don't know if they know that um hopefully they do but they can't do any pranks or shenanigans they can go for a fairy move though for sure for sure um do i do i want another one up I think I do want another one up. I think we want to get as many as possible. They're going to get up our reflect. That's fine. It's fine, brother. We're going to get up the uh, the uh, the good old hazards. Uh, that's literally going to do zero. It's going to bounce. Um, but we're going to get three layers of spikes up. And if Arcanine is not booties, oh boy. The thing is taking 
a lot. And Palafin's not booties. Oh boy, it's taking a lot. They're going to get a, both things of screens. I respect it. I respect it. We're going to go ahead. Boom, boom, boom. This is my first time actually seeing Samurott shiny in game. That's kind of fire. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. I think I, I, I think I like the other one better because it has the, the black and the red. This is just like white and gray. It's kind of, uh, but it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, we go for a razor shell here. We could also, oh, why? Ooh, could I go for a knockoff? Knockoff could be cool just in case they uh, want to get up screens later in the game so we can get rid of their potential light clay, which it is fire. They're going for spirit break here, which is fine. They're going to lower our ship attack, which we don't care too much about. Um, they, I mean, they could go for a sucker, but um, it doesn't matter. It's not going to KO us. We can just go for a razor shell here. Maybe get a nice little juicy little crit. We do connect, which is beautiful. No crit. That's fine. We're wasting uh, screen turns, which is fine. So Samurai is going to go down here, but it did its job. We got three, three three not one not two but three layers of spikes um i could go valiant here because we are choice spikes when we do kill we could just also go diancy here and we can go ahead and so where they go bronze on ooh bronze on's levitate it's literally the one thing that stops the set <laughs> because fairy ground is literally perfect coverage except for levitate and if it's a steel type who would have thought oh boy um i guess i can go you can we go you yeah i mean t-wave is annoying i also don't want to go into you in case they, they have they have the screens plus a spirit break i just don't know if it's t-wave or if it's parting shot that's the only problem uh i'm just gonna go into you oh uh, do i want i could also go to you if we, they t-wave us this is the worst thing in the world i'll just go into diancy now um the the downside is the bronze song the bronze song is so annoying we just gotta bust the bronze song that's all we gotta do um, we'll see if it's parting shot here. That's really what I want to do. I just want to get that information here. They are T-Wave, so they have to T-Wave a Diancy, which is uh, that's weird, but okay. I mean, okay. Whatever you say, Buckaroo. Whatever you want to do. We're going to Moonblast here, get a KO, which is kind of fire. No, we're not. Close, but no cigar. So they are T-Wave. That was my that was my fear. That was more so my fear. Um, we just go for Calm Mind, but it doesn't matter because like we can't do anything to Zong. We're gonna spirit break here, which is fine. Uh, does nothing. I literally does zero. Holy moly! All right, cool. And thanks to Clearbody, they don't lower our special attack. Haha! -ha, the more you know. In case you don't know, now you know. If you don't know, now you know. Uh, Diancy's glowing. I love shiny Diancy, man. Shiny Diancy. I just I don't know what it is. I don't, it's just like overly saturated, <laughs> but I I like it. I like it, bro. Um, I think they go Zong here. Like, why would you not go Zong? They could also go Palafin, to be fair. Because uh, they have screens up, they, they're not scared of anything. But what really sucks, actually, Bronzong and Palafin suck. Dude, this thing's going to take three layers. Oh, yes. Oh, man. Palafin extremely is difficult to, like, deal with. It's a little bit difficult to deal with. I think we have to go D-Knight. We are going to have to break our multi-scale, which kind of sucks. Um, we could try to get a Flame Body Burn, but that's just overly risky. I think that's way too way too risky i think we just go into d knight here which kind of sucks i wish i had roost on this set um because you can do roost dd and then two moves it just depends like what you want to be walled by honestly um and i opted to try to have as much coverage as possible they're gonna go for jet punch here um we can just go for e-speed uh do 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 we can just go for e-speed because i feel like ice punch might come out here um so i kind of want to just get as much damage as possible on this thing it could go garg I'm just going to go E-Speed, though. They do a draw. Probably see Garg if I had to guess. Do we see Garg? Survey says. Yeah, there's Garg. All right, that's fine. We get E-Speed chip plus three layers of spikes. Oh, yes. Perfect. So we're going to E-Speed here. Cool. Okay, so this, this opponent knows what they're doing. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Because when you do randos, you never know. You never know. Um, But I'm trying to get Diancy into position. The thing is, the Bronze Long is just so annoying. Uh, do, 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 do. We just go into. We can just. Ooh. Yeah, we, actually, we can slow king. We can slow king into chili reception. Into. Uh, uh, what's, what's the mon? This mon, the mon, the mon. I think. Do I have. I, I hope. I don't think I have a fighting move on this thing, actually. The thing being Iron Valiant. I think I opted to not have one. Silly me. Tricks are for kids. Yo, excuse me. Um, slow cures is annoying. It's annoying. Uh, they could protect here, or they could recover. I, I, I'm just gonna get up out of here. Life screen wears off, which is dope. 
Dope, dope, dope. We're gonna chill the reception here. And we burnt all their turns as uh, screens, which is fire. So they're gonna get rocks here, which is annoying. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. It is what it is. We're gonna we're gonna tell a bad joke and get up out of here. We're gonna tell a joke and get get up out of here. I think we can go hard iron valiant. Uh, threaten them out a little bit unless they do Terra into the ghost, which wouldn't be the worst thing in the world because like don't really get touched by this thing too much. So unless they are like Terra, um, unless they're like Terra uh, Blast. So if they have Terra Blast for whatever reason, then it's a little bit problematic. But Saw Cure is not the worst thing in the world. Body press, we don't care. Um, they would literally have to be like Terra, Terra like Terra Blast. <laughs> if they're like Terra Fairy, then that's. Eh, eh. But we're just gonna go for a moon blast here because uh the only resist is the zonger and if you get chip on that that's fine uh, i could also go for shadow ball which would be the worst thing in the world either i kind of want to go for shadow ball i really want to go shadow ball i'm gonna go shadow ball ah uh, they don't why would you stay in bro what why did i do nothing hello bro that did zero. We're choice specs. Am I missing something? Why'd that actually do zero? <laughs> Does it actually do that little? Holy moly. Yo, what? That's crazy. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Hello. Hello. I'm surprised it did that little. What the heck? That's nutty. Uh, this thing quite literally sits on our team. Kind of sits on our team. Ooh, 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 ooh. So this Garg is just, yeah, okay. So let's protect Salt Cure, Stealth Rock, uh, recover, most likely. So it's just Mono Salt Cure, which is, which is, you know, it's manageable. I can't believe I did so little though. That's like nutty. And the fact that they stayed in too is kind of crazy. I'm gonna go for a future site here. I'm gonna go for Salt Cure. I can't believe they stayed in though like what what are you doing like i actually i'm just genuinely curious about the calc because uh i just want to know i just like <laughs> actually i'm actually like i never calc on these wi-fi battles but like i actually just want to know how that did so little like that bounced right off of it oh shadow ball really does that wow i mean moonblast would have done a butt ton like, it's crazy how little that does though. I'm just like surprised. We're gonna chill the reception. All right, cool. We get momentum, which is cool. Yo, I can't believe it. <laughs> Yo, Shadow Ball does 15 to 18. Moonblast is 54 to 64. That's crazy. Now they go the Zong. Cause that makes sense. That makes sense now. Got scared of the freaking future type. Oh wait, what failed? Wait, what, what just failed? I didn't see what failed. Oh, what failed? It says something failed. Oh, oh, is it because the snow? The snow failed? But we still tell a joke, so we get up out of there. That's fine. Snow stops now. Uh, we're gonna U-turn here though. Surely they don't surely they don't stay in. Thank you. Okay, cool. They weren't supposed to stay in with uh Garg against Valiant, but they did. So that's interesting. They're gonna take Spike's ship, which is dope. We're gonna U-turn up out of here. And we're gonna go into uh, Valiant and fire off a Moon Blast because <laughs> uh, that quite literally is our strongest move. Had I known that I was gonna do that little, I was just going for Moon. I mean, I was trying to predict the Zong because I thought they would go Zong, but they didn't. Just crazy. Just crazy. Then take the Future Side attack as well. Dope. All right, cool. So this thing will die if they stay in. And I kind of just want to kill the Garg, if I'm being completely honest. So I'm going to go for a Moonblast here. If they go into Zong, so be it. They have to protect, that's fine. They're going to get a little bit lefties back. Um, but when they switch back in, they literally won't be able to do too much. I'm not going to predict the Zong. I'm just going to get Chip where I can. Uh, they're getting as much leftovers back as possible. Uh, if I do make... I could make the double in the mole. Part of me really wants to, but at the same time, I don't know what this person wants to do. I have no like see they have to stay in like imagine if I went Moltres right there that makes no sense all right cool so Garganacle is down and out cool we navigated ourselves around that thing because that was annoying the Zong is the next thing that's annoying they just brought a really bulky team like super bulky team and the, of course of all things that wall 
Diancy. The one thing we're trying to make pop off. It's crazy. So Palafin comes out. Uh, it's going to take more Spike Chip, which is dope. Um, we probably die to a thingy, a Jet Punch. I'm just going to hard deny again. Because that's quite literally our play. Yeah, it's our play. It's our play. Quite literally our play. That's the only thing that we do. That's the only thing that we do. All right. So what's going to come in here? I assume Jet Punch again. Oh, they Terra something. Terra Water? Survey says? Is it Terra Water? Is it indeed Terra Water? It is Terra Water. Yo, this is the roughest looking matchup I've ever seen for a Dragonite. Because they have the Garg and then they also have the uh, the Bronze Song. It's like, yo. <laughs> yo. Wave Crash. Ouchie. Do we die? I'm curious. Uh, I mean, it's a Palafin. Oh, we don't die. Okay, cool. It does so much damage, though, to itself. We're going to E-Speed here. Yeah, sure. Doesn't die. Wow. Wow. That's unfortunate. That is indeed unfortunate. Okay, 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 okay. Um, we can't sack off Molt. Like, sacking off Molt is not an option. Because uh, we don't break the, whatchamacallit, otherwise. Like, we do not break uh, the... The Zong. I think we're gonna have to Terra Water our Slow King, in all honesty. I think we 100% have to Terra Water our our boy here. Um, yeah, we have to Terra Water our boy here. And just go for a Sludge Bomb. Yeah. Because otherwise, uh, I mean, if they swap out, I would be so pissed. I would be so angry. Because you can't live another Spike. Yeah, thank you. I was about to say, there's no way they do that. But we're gonna tear water here, be able to eat whatever hit they throw out. I assume it's gonna be a wave crash. Uh, so, cause otherwise I think we just hard lost to this like two HP Palafin, low key. So they're gonna go for wave crash here. They're gonna die to the recoil, which is nice. Um, I didn't know if we died from full or not. And I don't, obviously this thing's not banned. But, oh yeah, we definitely died from full. Oh yeah, for sure. I had to tear water there, hundred percent. Yeah, if I didn't, that was, <laughs> I mean, granted it would have died because of the recoil, but at the same time, better be safe than sorry, in my opinion. I'm gonna go for Sludge Bomb, not gonna do anything. Um, I guess I could have just slacked off, it probably wouldn't have been the best play. Um, Cause I was so fixated on like Jet Punch and whatnot, I didn't even like. All right, so this thing comes out. We're gonna get Skedaddle up on out of here. We're gonna go into hard Moltres here. It's like, we're not we're not in a terrible position in game, but like getting Diancy to win the game is going to be the hard part, especially with a, a para, because now it's just, do we get stuck or do we not get stuck? All right, so Moltres is in. You know, Iron Defense, that's not going to matter in the grand scheme of things because we are a special attacker, so kind of silly on their part. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go for a Flamethrower here. If they go into um, the Mon, so that is Gastrodon, uh, we just go hard sloking because we are Terra Water now, so that's pretty dope. They do a draw here. Okay, cool. Didn't know if they want to stay in or not because uh, they did risk their Garg against the Valiant, which is crazy behavior. Crazy behavior. They're going to take three layers of spikes with a flamethrower to the dome. That's going to do zero, but overall, it did a lot of damage. And we should not got burned because we're talented. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Now we're just going to U-turn up out of here. We see the lefties, of course, but it's going to be negated by the burn, which is fantastic. Fantastic. So... Now we get even more damage on it with the U-turn. Uh, we could Hurricane, but it's not really worth getting damage on the Molt like that because we do need it for the Zong, as we've seen. Now we just get up out of here. We go right out into none other than the Mon that is G-King. Um, yeah, we just go hard at G-King. Um, if they recover, then they recover. We can also slack off as well. Um, we also have to I think, go for Ice Beam. Easy money. Easy money. Um, I was about to go for a Sludge Bomb to try to get a Poison, but I forgot about the Burn. Kind of sucks that we burned it, because Sludge Bomb Poison would be a little bit better. Because it negates the lefties and does a smidge more. But we're just going to go ahead and fire off a Future Sight here. No need for us to um, really go for any. We could go for Slack Off, but Earth Power doesn't, uh, what should we call it, uh, is not super effective anymore. So we just freely can do whatever. Um, we'll see what they want to go out into here. Uh, what is it? I don't know what that is. What is it? The Zong. All right, cool. All right, so we're going for Future Sight here. Chip is chip. We're going to get chip on it somehow. We're going to go for a Chili Reception as well because this thing really shouldn't be able to touch us. Go for, I don't know why they keep going for Iron Defenses. Bro, like, I have a whole Moltres. What is wrong with you? 
what 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 actually is wrong with like what are you thinking right now i don't get it i don't get it you can't tear it either so i don't i don't get it why go for iron defense i'm not just gonna sit and let you like what 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 it's weird because like sometimes like earlier in the game i said i knew what they're doing but now it just seems like i they don't know what they're doing i don't know what they're doing what are they doing <laughs> like what's going on we're gonna go for flamethrower here um I said it just after okay big damage don't go for body press oh my gosh they go for body press it's crazy it's, what a silly goose flame body burn punish and it's like the future side attack cool that does nothing but it's still fine um yeah yeah we just go for flamethrower i was thinking i was like can i bring dance that diancy can i bring diancy in on this situation not really because not after doing body press shenanigans but i can i don't it's like great it doesn't matter it was it was dying i promise i promise three minutes left three minutes left i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get dancing to do anything this game just super annoying hmm arcanine comes in okay boots are you boots you're not boots so you're probably offensive intimidate okay 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 um do i want a hurricane here Dynasty could, in theory, set up on this. Uh, we could even... Actually, oh, do I want to... Because we have no speed in this thing, so we should be slower than this Arcanine. So I'm going to U-turn and try to get Dynasty in. I'm going to E-speed. Okay, that's fine. That's going to do zero. That, that actually did zero. Um, and go into Dynasty here. Because we should be able to eat anyone hit and be able to get Trick Room up and then kind of clean up with EP. I think, I think, I wasn't able to do the call mind, uh, TR. I think call mind TR might be a little bit, a little bit much because it's a lot of setup on Diancy. Um, it would have to be like a very favorable matchup for Diancy to even like pop off, um, all the way. But I could just straight up. I, I have to go for TR here. For sure, for sure. If they go into Gasho, then that's fine. Free TR, and. Uh, they have to stay in that's also fine because we should be able to uh, they eat it okay the e-speed okay cool we're gonna get up a trick room actually we might be able to we might be able to just go ahead and get up a call mine too because i don't know how high the gas shows at it shouldn't be that high i don't think they did they didn't click recover after right i don't think they did i'm gonna call mine though i'm gonna have the calmest of minds get a little bit bulky and get a little bit bulky here and a little bit a little bit offensive as well we have 60 seconds 60 seconds flare blitz okay cool doesn't do much so now we're just gonna go for ep easy peasy lemon squeezy we have 47 seconds come on animations don't do that don't do it all right now we just gotta now we just gotta earth power here i didn't want to tear it to waste more time they're gonna think it through though we're gonna earth power Boosh! Arcanine's dead. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. All right. All right. All right. Not too bad. I'm pretty sure we'd be able to kill the Gastro. Hopefully they go out into the Mon fast enough. But it's it's gonna have to take spikes plus all that. Oh, I shouldn't I shouldn't have call minded, huh? Huh? I mean, we won the we won the we won the battle regardless. Oh, this thing's dead. It would die to EP. Diancy 100% gets that kill. 100%. We're gonna go for EP. Come on, click the move. Click the move. Don't be a coward. Let's go! Let's go! All right, cool, cool. All right, all right, all right. I respect it. Let's go. All right, so Dynasty got two of them. Dynasty got two of them. So, shout out to Bean for the recommendation. Um, I will say it is a little bit hard. Um, I mean, especially when you have like five mods that like wall Dynasty. And well, no, no, not five mods. I take that back. I take that back. The only problem was indeed the bronze on because we got up enough combines. Uh, then like I have no fear about the Gastrodon. Um but even even then I still don't have fear about the Gastrodon because we should be able like Moonblast should be able to do a bajillion and EP also would do a bajillion. Um But yeah, the problem the in that matchup it was just, we had to get rid of the Zong. And otherwise if we just set up with Diancy, we just have to swap out. Like they should have done with their Zong, but they didn't. They just kept going for body press for whatever reason with iron defense. That's weird. Um but we did do the thing with Diancy, so that's pretty cool. But yeah. 
I think TR Diancy is better, maybe like with a weakness policy set and, and like a third coverage move, like maybe like a rock move um, just because or something else to help with uh, Bronzong. I think Diancy still gets Mystical Fire. I might be tripping. I don't know because I know some things lost it. But uh, if you guys like this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up down below. If you are new, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I post. Without further ado, I am your boy Jay. I'm going to get about you here and I'll catch you all next time. Bye.